dog in the manger. The idiom, dog in the manger, is used to describe someone who selfishly prevents others from enjoying or benefiting from something that they themselves have no use for. It is often used to criticize people who possess something but do not make use of it, yet prevent others from using it. The origin of this idiom comes from an old fable attributed to Aesop. In the fable, a dog lies in a manger filled with hay, refusing to let the hungry cattle eat it, even though the dog has no intention of eating the hay itself. Here are a few examples to illustrate the usage of the idiom. One. Imagine a coworker who has access to a company car but never uses it. However, when a colleague asks if they can borrow it for a work-related trip, the coworker refuses, stating that the car is only for their use. In this case, the coworker is being a dog in the manger by not allowing others to benefit from the car. 2. Suppose a person has a large garden but never takes care of it or grows anything. However, when their neighbor asks if they can use a small portion of the garden to grow some vegetables, the person refuses, claiming that the garden is theirs and no one else should benefit from it. This person is displaying the behavior of a dog in the manger by preventing others from utilizing the garden. 3. A library has a limited number of books, and one particular book has been sitting on the shelf untouched for years. When a student requests to borrow the book, the librarian refuses, saying that it is reserved for a specific purpose that never materializes. The librarian is acting as a dog in the manger by denying others access to the book. In these examples, the individuals possess something that they have no use for, yet they selfishly prevent others from benefiting from it. The idiom, dog in the manger, is used to criticize such behavior and highlight the unfairness of denying others access to something that is not being utilized.